Hey guys, what's going on? Today we take a look at the Marshall JVM 205H feature packed amp. It has two channels, three modes per channel, built in digital reverb, it has an emulated out, effects loop, it's got master controls with resonance and presence and the ability to have different volumes per channel, which is wonderful. 50 watts, EL34. We're gonna take the amp, I'm gonna go through the two nights captor today, do something different. We're gonna use a Friedman Vintage THH, bounce between the neck and bridge pickup. I'm not gonna do too much of the split coil thing. Walrus Audio Polychrome Flanger for one example, just to kind of mix things up. I will use the digital reverb. We'll go through each mode of the amp and just check it out. And final thoughts will be at the end.
So do you like the JVM? Have you played the JVM? Do you own the JVM? Where do you stand with it? For me, my final thoughts about the amp, I think the JVM is actually really flexible. The foot switch is very intuitive and it allows you to like save presets for the channel so you don't have to worry about your knobs getting messed up, which is really cool. The effects loop is good. I think the built-in reverb is like, okay, it's not great, but I love the ability to kind of mix it in, especially with presets, and then you can have it at different levels for your clean and dirty stuff. The modes are really the gem of this amp. You can get a lot of really cool versatile tones by just changing the modes on the amp. And you don't necessarily have to have a traditional setup where the channel one is purely clean and channel two is a dirty lead tone or whatever. You could have like a broken up distorted tone for channel one and a lead tone for channel two or, or two different types of dirt per channel, which I think is actually really great. It's one of the things I really like about Mesa amps is that they allow for a channel to just be dirty or be clean, which I think is great. It's just more flexibility in your amplifier, which I think is wonderful. Ultimately, I think the JVM is a really cool amp. I don't think it's like the be all end all of Marshalls. I think it does compare to like the Silver Jubilee stuff. I think it holds its own against some of the mini stuff they've been doing. I think it's just a different type of sound. You know, it's no 800, but it's certainly not a slouch. If you're in the market and you want a flexible EL34 amp that's not gonna like destroy your wall it. This is definitely one of them. It's definitely one you should look at and I don't think it can necessarily go wrong. It's got some good cleans, some good dirt, very flexible. It'd be good for recording. I do think there are some negatives in the sound where it's a little fizzy at times. Um, it's not entirely clear. I chose this guitar because I thought it just matched well. It sounded like a good PAF tone in a lot of cases and I think it worked really well. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.